So I'm watching a documentary about some of the worst mistakes in Disney theme park history, basically from an Imagineering standpoint. But if you don't know who this is, Paul Pressler, he was the president um, of the Disney stores in the 80s. So over here, you can see that um, this is a segment from the Times, um, LA Times, I'm assuming, and it is talking about his promotion. And it says that he joined Disney in 1987 and that he will be taking over Disneyland. Um, he is taking over from Jack Lindquist, who had just been, or he had retired, actually. Um, and then over here, it has this statement that's very interesting. It says that it's the first time since Disneyland opened that park operations will be commanded by someone other than a protege of founder Walt Disney. So Michael had this to say, Paul is a talented, creative, Business executive. Business. Hmm. Creative. Well, I don't know about all that. He also says he is fiscally sophisticated. He nurtures great ideas. <laughs> and he knows how to see them through. I know Disneyland will thrive under his leadership. Well, they liked him so much that after he was appointed president of Disneyland in 1994... He then went on to become president of Disney Parks in 1998. Although, if you ask any cast member that was around at that time, Paul Pressler loved budget cuts. He cut everything. He killed everything. He closed everything. So, I don't know. I think everyone has their own opinions. But, um, yeah, he was also the one who's in charge of the expansion at Disneyland Resort. So, he was the one to oversee... 1,800 new hotel rooms, a shopping district, and a second theme park called Westcott. Well, that eventually became, as you know, Disney Calif or Disney's California Adventure. Um, so that is, that's the story of Paul Pressler. Did you know who that was? Do you know some of the horrible things he did? Maybe you know some of the good things he did. Well, either way, I thought that was a fun little bit of history.